fellow potato laptop users of Blender, our day has finally come. No need for RTX cards, no need to buy a new PC. Blender has changed the game forever, and optics denoising has come for people without RTX cards. So let me show you this uh, update. So this is Blender 2.9. Uh, this is a custom build, but soon it will be for 2.9. There will be a link in the description for this. Maybe you heard that a bit ago there was this thing that came out called Viewport Denoising Optics, AI Accelerated Denoising, and it was cool, but you know, the barrier to entry is like $1,000 just to get the graphics card. Well, no more, because now we have Viewport Denoising. You can see I actually have the options over here, even though, even though, let me show you my, um, system stuff just got a gtx 1060 not a very powerful graphics card by any means at least in this day and age but even though that's what i'm running viewport denoising enabled and let's see what this looks like let's bring down i mean i guess it automatically starts working so here here i've set up a um kind of like one of the worst scenes possible it's an hdri where the light's coming in through the window and we have this reflective ball so this is what it looks like you know without it just samples for days and it's going to be noisy forever but optics ai i mean wh wh what is there to say it just looks good uh obviously the longer you let this run the better it's going to look the the thing is it's not going to be as fast as when you have an rtx card but the fact that this is even possible is great let's bring it down to two samples let's see what we can do two samples already looks it's usable <laughs> i mean it, yeah it looks splotchy but it's usable there is one more thing i should mention and that is that uh, you can use this viewport denoising or rather this optics ai accelerated denoising also on final render doesn't need to be on viewport how do you do that well if you go to the compositing workspace enable use nodes you're gonna see it just kind of feeds whatever it is that we're rendering right into the composite what you want to do is go to uh, view layer enable not denoising data this is for the other kind of a uh, denoise node which is not what we want. We want the uh, new denoise. Go down to denoising over here and you're gonna see an optics AI accelerated option. And when you enable it and you can choose how many passes you want it to factor in, I'm just gonna choose all of them. When you do that, it's actually gonna let us render it out. So let's go with the uh, crazy two sample approach. So render, it's gonna first give us the noisy pass and then it's gonna do the AI stuff. Who would have thought that neural networks would be in Blender? Th this is crazy. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be buying an expensive graphics card because if you just bring this up to like 30 samples, it's not bad. I mean, this scene's really, really kind of intense. Like the lighting is all bounce lighting. It's not really coming in from the open wall over here. So let's see what this gives us. Compositing workspace. Here you see that it gives us our AI denoised image and then also the original. So just to compare original AI denoised with only two samples. And like I mentioned probably a thousand times, the longer you let this go with samples, the better and better it's gonna look. It's gonna go from this kind of painterly thing to something that actually looks usable. So yeah, not as fast as, um, not as fast as an RTX card, but it works, it also works on CPU. What, is it, what else is there to say? I'm just here reporting the news. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching.